Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, Jay here. Today is Easter Sunday and it is a glorious day. There is not a cloud in the sky. It's like F8 to F16 weather today. So you know what that means. We're heading off into the city. We're gonna do some photo taking. It's been a while since I've been out, to be honest, more than a month or so, but I'm really excited to get out again, uh, grease up those rusty uh, skills of mine and I'm also meeting up with some new photographers today. I'm gonna to hang out and just take photos. It's gonna be a great time. So, I'll see you in the city. Woo! Yo, so we just arrived at a coffee joint. I've got the whole team here with me. I'll turn the camera around in just a sec. But uh, this place is called Diggy Doos, very uh, comfy location, hidden away in the CBD. Great coffee if you ever around here, so uh, do check it out. Let me show you guys the entourage. Ben's in the building. Taurus, new face on the channel. Oh yeah. Link to, link to his Instagram somewhere up here. Alright, alright. <laughs> no surprises, but we got Tim. Tim, hi. Hi, John. <laughs> And finally, we've got Andy, Andy. What's going on? new face linked to his That's Instagram it. up That's on top. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to do a uh, drip check. What, what have we got going on? Uh, I've got the Elberry 7 with the 50 and just the Ricoh GR3, which is my go-to these days, but the battery life won't last me a day. It's actually really hard to find one of these uh, GR3s out of the wild these days. I've been looking for quite a while. Yeah? yeah. Nice. Double back camera. Hi, Joe. Tim. I'm shooting on iPhone. <laughs> Damn. Controversial. <laughs> Much? You're going to get a lot of flack for that. Or, really. Or like, maybe I'll shoot these. I don't know. We'll see. What are they? They're Fuji's. Fuji? Which uh, ones? 100V and the GFX 100S. Tight, tight. They're the 100s. <laughs> it's really popular right now. Taurus, what are we shooting with today? Um, I'm 240 and the wind hit your lens. 53.5. Beautiful. Look at that. That's, this is the Leica section, by the way. I don't belong in that And Ben, finally, what do we got? <laughs> QT Reporter. Look at that bad boy. Uh, I might also shoot with a little something extra later, but I'll show you, show you a bit later. Oh, Ben's saving the better one for last. I don't know if it's better, just different. Beautiful. <laughs> Why not? Too unreliable. Oh, oh you f <laughs> Blake, you're gonna cut that. You're gonna cut that. Cut it. Oh, I wasn't recording. <laughs> no. We just got done with coffee. Now we're gonna head towards Circular Key. The light is still super, super bright. So let's head out and take photos. Looks like it's busy today. And I get a lot of human elements in frame. Oh. There's so many people getting close. Oh! Still the Let's go Got, oh, what's that? <laughs> All these 28 millimeter shooters out here. <laughs> That's a. <laughs> Appreciate the Opera House. See, it's 
one of those good exercises um, as a photographer to practice shooting in busier environments so you get accustomed to uh, picking and choosing what kind of shots that you take. Um, here at Circular Quay in Darling Harbour and Opera House, there's so many tourists and people walking about. Sometimes it gets a little bit overwhelming, uh, kind of picking out what exactly you want and the composition that you want. So a good tip would be to just find a location, pick a good composition and just stick to that area and wait for something to happen there. Um, otherwise, you'd be walking around trying to find good compositions and good people at the same time and it gets a little bit overwhelming. So, yeah, good tip there. As you can see around me, there's so many people. It's littered with people. And you just, even for me, I find it really hard to focus because there's so many colors, uh, so many things happening that, you know, it, it, you can't do everything at once. So what I'd like to do is I'll just pick out one spot, stand there, and then when something interesting enters the frame, then I'll capture it. Um, it's happened a few times already. I've taken you know, a few shots, but uh, yeah. Hope to get some more before we change locations. So Taurus, How's your experience shooting in Circular Quay and uh, Opera House today? Uh, it's crowded, but it's like in a, not in a good way. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of packed and it's bad busy. So do you usually like shooting in crowds like this, or you prefer something more quiet? Yeah, I prefer this crowd, yep. but it's like not that crowd. Oh, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. it does get really, really busy. Yep, yep. And uh, people are more like emotions and uh, laughing to each other and uh, talking and uh, can freeze the moment. Yeah. 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 Uh, in crowds like this, do you find that composing shots get a little bit difficult? Yeah. I mean, for me, I, I don't even compose. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so just like find a moment, click the bottom, yeah. and uh, use my eye to do the work. <laughs> I mean, that's one of the techniques that you can try as well, just finding an interesting subject and just clicking a shot. Um, as long as you have a wide enough focal length and your aperture is set pretty high, you can get most of the things in focus. Great tips, Taurus. Very well, enjoying the sunshine, crazy. Crazy good hectic here. How was your experience down at the Opera House? I like it. I went right up the stairs. I don't usually go Opera House so close, but this time I was just rocking the shadows, enjoying the shapes going right up there. Oh yeah. We've had a great experience down at the Opera House, but unfortunately it's time to move on. <laughs> it's so packed here. It's so busy. Easter Sunday, everyone's out and about. It's fun times. We're back on George Street. Less crowded but enough people to take photos of. Now we're just trying to find patches of light that look really nice. See, photography is all about finding good light, good subjects and good compositions, right? So here, the floor is modeled with light. So it's good to just find a good composition and just stay there and wait for subjects to enter the scene. And Tim wants me to get out of his composition. Sorry, I'm saying, I'm taking your picture, bitch. Give up that wall, I'll take it. We're at the bar, 
having a quick beer. I know there's like no continuity in this video, like we just had lunch. And then um, it's like we took no photos today, except for at the Opera House. But yeah, here, beer for you guys. Ching ching. Ching ching, clink. I swear I'll post some photos like, you know, in the video somewhere, like, like right now. Uh, I can confirm. So I know we just had beer, but like jump cut to another beverage place because surprise, this is surprise, this is <laughs> this is not a photography vlog anymore. This has become a beverage vlog. <laughs> We're at a tea place, Topo Tea, Tim's uh, Tim's favorite joint. Uh, we're gonna have some tea to finish up the day, and um, yeah. This will probably end the vlog. I'm gonna post up some photos of um, photos that the photographers took today. Less of mine, more of theirs. So I hope you guys enjoyed this short vlog. I'll see you next time. Can anybody out there tell me what's really